Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making number 299 Granny Square of our 365 Days of Granny Squares. Can you believe it? We are so close to the finish line. This one is so beautiful, designed by Celinda. It is called Checks and Balances Square. This square is a lot of fun to make. We're using cluster stitches here. We're using long double crochets and treble crochets and a lot of double crochets and single crochets just a great amount of stitches in this pattern to make this beautiful design. I'm using two different colors in my square today. Uh, you can use as many colors as you want. We are doing six rounds on this square, so you can use even six different colors. I don't care. And um, this is a Red Heart Super Saver yarn. I just have scraps uh, in my scrap basket that I'm using. This is just a size worsted weight, size four medium yarn. Um, you can use a worsted weight yarn, a double knitting yarn, an Aran yarn, bulky yarn, whatever yarn you have lying around. I am going to demonstrate this square using this H size crochet hook, which is five millimeters. So make sure you have that handy as well as a yarn needle and a scissor because we'll be cutting our yarn and sewing in our ends and these tools just come in handy. Now, before we start, I want to mention uh, there are links in the description of this video specifically for the written pattern if you want to follow along with Celinda's design. Um, her written pattern is on crochetmemories.com. So make sure you check that out. She has a PDF file that you can download. Also, uh, you can, you can print that off, but there's also a PDF file that has photos in it. And this square particularly is part of a crochet along that she has uh, hosted. So make sure that you check that out. And maybe if you want to do a crochet along with her, you can definitely check out her website, crochetmemories.com. Big thank you to her for allowing us to use this pattern. This is so beautiful. Also in the links in the description of this video, there is a link to my Facebook and Instagram. You know what to do. Just share your photo in the comment section of today's post on Facebook. And on Instagram, make sure you you sh uh, share your photo and hashtag 365 days of granny squares and hashtag yarn utopia so that I can see your beautiful squares today. You can also follow me on Snapchat. I'm yarn utopia on Snapchat. Also, lastly, I have to say a big thank you to my dad, Fouad Azmet, for taking the time to make this video with us. He's our videographer, editor, and photographer for all of yarn utopia's videos. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. There's a red subscribe button by my username. And also in this corner here, there is an I for more information, you can click that and support Yarn Utopia so that we can keep bringing you these crochet tutorials. And now let's get started and make number 299 Granny Square. Let's start out with a slip knot. So put your short end over the long end, then fold that down and pull that through. Pull tight, insert your hook, and we can start. So let's start out by actually just chaining two one and two. And in the second chain from the hook, we are going to put eight single crochet. So the loop on the hook doesn't count as anything. So count one and two, the second chain there, go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a single crochet. So again, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Go into the same chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So it's three, this is four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, I'm not sure if I said six or eight, but we have to put eight single crochets in that chain there, just like that. And then if you need to count back eight and go into the first single crochet of this round and make a slip stitch. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And that was simply round one, very simple. Going right into round two, if you're uh, changing color here, you can fasten off and start in any stitch around. I'm not gonna change color yet. We're going to start out next, this next round making a beginning cluster stitch. So we're going to chain up two, one and two. We're going to yarn over and go back into that same stitch that we just chained up two in, so go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, but hold it. We're going to yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, 
yarn over and pull through two loops. So now there's three loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And there's a cluster. Then we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And we're going to put a three double crochet cluster right into the next stitch. So a regular cluster, yarn over, go into the very next stitch, then yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, hold it. We're going to yarn over again and go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, but again, hold it. We're going to yarn over again, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. So now we have four loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And just repeat what we did now. So cluster stitch into the next stitch. Okay, it's a three double crochet cluster. Okay, and then you have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops, and then chain three. One, two, three. So at the end of this round, you'll have eight of these cluster stitches and eight chain three spaces. So I'll do that, and then I'll meet you up for round three. Okay, just finishing this round. I finished chaining my last three here. Then we're going to slip stitch to the top of the first cluster stitch. So not in this chain up two here, but go into the cluster stitch, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Now if you're not changing color, slip stitch into this chain three space right here, and then uh, chain up, let me see here, we have to chain up three and go on to the next round, but I'm going to chain one right here and cut this yarn, and then pull that through and pull tight, so fasten that off, and then I'm going to go into any chain three space, I'm just going to go right in that one, and then I'm going to hook on my new color, pull that through, and now we are going to make a beginning corner shell. So we're going to chain up three, one, two, and three. And in the same space, we are going to put two double crochets. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. So that's a double crochet. So you'd put two of those. So again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Now we have to chain two, one and two, and we need to put three more double crochets into that same space. So one, two, and three. And there's our corner of our square. So now we are going to, let's see here, beginning corner shell, then we're going to chain one, so yarn over, pull through, one, and then we're going to put three double crochets into this next chain space. So put just three double crochets in that one. One, two, and three. Then we're going to chain one. And in this next chain space, this next chain three space right here, we're going to put three double crochets, or we're going to do a, a shell again, but it's a regular shell stitch, corner shell. So three double crochets, then we're going to chain two, and then put three more double crochets in there. One, two, and three. So you can see that that is our second corner of our square. See how it's making a nice square shape? Awesome. Now we just have to repeat that. So chain one, put three double crochets into this next chain three space. One, two, three. Then chain one and put your corner in this next chain three space. So that's three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. Okay, so if you need to follow along with the written pattern, I'm just going to finish off this corner, my last side, and my last corner, and then I'll meet you up at the end of this round. All right, when you're finished with this round, just got to chain one and then slip stitch to the beginning chain of three here. One, two, three, go in, 
then yarn over and pull through and through. Now, if you're not changing color, slip stitch into these next two stitches and into this corner space here and chain up one and go on to round four with me. But I'm gonna chain one and cut this yarn, pull it through and pull tight, and we're gonna start in a corner. So go in, I'm just gonna grab my other color here, hook that on the hook, just like that. And then we're gonna chain up one, and in the same corner space here, we're gonna put a single crochet Okay, just like how I showed you in round one, single crochet. Then we're gonna chain three, one, two, and three, and we're going to single crochet into that same corner. So go back in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Now we're going to skip this next double crochet stitch right here. And in the next double crochet, we're going to single crochet, then chain three, and then we're gonna single crochet back into that same stitch. Okay, just like that, so we kind of made a little loop. All right, now we are going to put a long double crochet into this cluster stitch from round two. So what we're gonna do is yarn over, go into that cluster stitch, just like this. Okay, you can work in front of this chain one space or around the whole thing. It does not matter. I'm just gonna go right in front of it. And then yarn over and pull through, pull up, then yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And that's a long double crochet. Then what we need to do, let's see here, we have to skip the next double crochet stitch, and we are going to put a single crochet into the next stitch, just like so and then chain three, one, two, and three, and then single crochet back into that same stitch. So go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Then we're going to repeat that, what we just did over here, uh, right here. So skip this next stitch, make a long double crochet into this cluster, so yarn over, go down into the cluster stitch, okay? yarn over, pull through, and pull up, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Then we're gonna skip this next stitch here, and we're going to put a single crochet into the next stitch, then we're gonna chain three, and then we're gonna put a single crochet back into that same stitch, just like that. Now we're going to skip the last stitch on this side before the corner, and in the corner we're going to put a single crochet, chain three, and a single crochet. Just like that. So now we're going to just repeat what we did on this side and this corner for each side and each corner. So I'll show you again. We're going to skip this stitch, go into this stitch here for a single crochet, chain three, and a single crochet. Then we're going to skip this next stitch and make a long double crochet into this cluster stitch from round two. Okay, long double crochet. Then we're gonna skip this next stitch and put a single crochet, chain three, and a single crochet into this next stitch. Then we're gonna skip this next stitch and put a long double crochet into this cluster stitch from round two. Then we are going to skip this next stitch here, and in the next stitch put a single crochet, chain three, and a single crochet. And then you know what to do in the corner. We're gonna skip this last stitch here on the side, and in the corner put a single crochet, chain three, and a single crochet. So just do that all the way around, and then I'll meet you up for the next round. Okay, just finishing up this round here, we're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet of this round. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Now, if you're not changing color, slip stitch into this corner, chain three space, and then chain up three and go on to the next round with me. But I'm actually going to chain one here and cut this yarn, pull it through and pull tight. And if you're changing color like me, start in a corner. Okay, so in this chain three corner space, I'm just gonna grab my other color here, hook that on the hook, pull it through, chain up three. One, two, and three. This round is super simple, very simple like um, 
we did round three here. We're going to put two double crochets into this chain three space. One and two. Then we're going to chain two, one, two, and put three more double crochets into the same corner space. One, two, and three. Then we're going to work into these chain three spaces all the way across to our next corner. So into these three spaces, we're going to put three double crochets. But first we have to actually chain one. So yarn over and pull through. We're going to chain one in between our groupings. So double, put three double crochets into this next chain three space. Then chain one, hop into the next chain three space and put three double crochets in there. Then chain one, hop into the next chain three space and put three double crochets in there. And then chain one. And for the corner chain three space, we're putting three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets, all in the same chain three corner space just to keep the square shape, just like that. Okay, so then we're just going to repeat what we did on this side and this corner for each side and each corner. So chain one, put three double crochets in the next chain three space, then chain one, put three double crochets in the next chain three space, then chain one, put three double crochets in the next chain three space, then chain one, and make your corner in the next chain three space. So do that all the way around and then I'll meet you up for the next round. When you come back around make sure to slip stitch to this chain up three here. One, two, three. Just go in and then yarn over and pull through and through. Now if you're going on to the next round and not changing color, slip stitch into these next two stitches and into this chain two corner space and then chain up one and go on to round six. But I'm going to chain one here and cut this yarn, pull it through and pull tight and we're starting in a corner. So go into the corner, hook on a new color if you are, pull that through and then chain up one. And then in the same space, we are going to put a single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. Then we're going to chain two, one and two, and we're going to put another single crochet into the same space. Now we're going to single crochet into these next three stitches. One, two, three. We're going to skip this chain one space and we're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Now we're going to make a treble crochet stitch into this long double crochet. So a treble crochet is yarn over twice, go into that long double crochet. Okay, you can work around the chain space like that or you can work into the chain space bringing that forward. Okay, like that. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Okay, that's a treble crochet. Now we want to single crochet in each one of these next three stitches. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one, this is two, and this is three. And now we want to put a long or I'm sorry, not a long double crochet. We're going to do a treble crochet into the long double crochet. So yarn over twice, go into the long double crochet, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more loops, and yarn over and pull through those last two loops. Then we're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two and three, we're going to skip this chain one space and single crochet into the next three stitches. Then in the corner right here, we're going to put a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet. 
All right, so now we're just going to repeat what we did on this side and this corner for each side and each corner around. So I'll show you one more time. Single crochet in each of these next three stitches and skip the chain one space and single crochet in the next three stitches. Then treble crochet, so we yarn over twice, into this long double crochet. Then single crochet into the next three stitches. And then treble crochet into this next long double crochet here. Okay, that was from round, those long double crochets are in round, round four. Then we're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. And we're going to skip the chain one space and single crochet into the next three stitches until you get to the corner. In the corner, we're putting a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet. Okay, so just repeat that all the way around. I'll meet you up when we're about to fasten off. When you come back around, be sure to slip stitch to the first single crochet of this round, just like that. And now we can fasten off. So chain one and cut your yarn, pull that through and pull tight, and then grab your yarn needle and sew in that end. And there it is. Our last number of 200s. It's number 299, Granny Square. Congratulations, everyone. How exciting. We're almost to the end of the year. This one is designed by Celinda, so big thank you to her over at crochetmemories.com. Make sure to give her a big thank you for allowing us to use her design in this project. And check out her website because she actually has this square as part of a crochet along. So make sure you do that. Share your photos on Facebook and Instagram, hashtag 365 Days of Granny Squares. How beautiful is that? You may need to block this square, but for the most part, it actually kept its shape for me. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Happy hooking!